guys. So today we're going to talk about my favorite car of year 2022. Actually, it's been my favorite car since year 2020. The brand new Chevy Corvette, the C8 version, and specifically the Z06. So the Z06 is supposed to come out for the 2023 year model. Um, I actually saw this up close at SEMA uh, back in November. And holy cow, I literally stood at that car, I think, good hour. I just sat there and just stared at it. It was an amazing looking car. Um, and I I fell in love with the C8 even from their Stingray days. And with the Z06, it really puts the icing on the cake. You know, they went as far as creating their own engine that was flat plane crank. Uh, flat plane crank basically is what makes those exotic cars sound so exotic. So if you've heard, you know, Maseratis, Ferraris, they all have that real high-pitched race car-like sound. Well, now you can get it from a Corvette. And according to Car and Driver, they are suspecting that it will start around $90,000 as base price. Obviously, in this current market, I'm sure a lot of the dealerships are going to start marking them up. I mean, they're marking up Stingrays like crazy. So, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to get your hands on the brand new Z06 at MSRP of ninety thousand dollars for quite a long time. Um, not, you know, not until they come up with a solution for this chip shortage, supply chain issues, and things like that. So with that said, um, let's see what this Corvette does. So this Z06, well, let me go back to the Stingray. The Stingray, which is technically the base model of the C8, does 0 to 16 in 2.9 seconds. Just to give you an idea of how fast that is, that's what the old C7 Corvette Z06 did in 0 to 60. Now, a base model Corvette does that. Guess what the Z06 does now with a C8 model? They're doing this in 2.6 seconds. 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. That's 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, and holy cow, I'm at 60 miles an hour. That is super quick. I'm going to give you another comparison. So keep in mind, the Corvette Z06 trim is still just rear-wheel drive. So And it's also NA, so naturally aspirated, no turbo, no supercharger. Um... Now I'm going to compare that to the Acura NSX. I mean, a car that's going to most likely be, if we assume that the Z06 is going to start at 90,000, this starts at 160,000 basically. This all-wheel drive, hybrid drivetrain, which the hybrid portion isn't actually meant for, you know, saving gas. This is meant for the front wheels to be all electric, giving you instant response. And this car does 0 to 16 3.1. That's slower than the Stingray, let alone the Z06, okay? And this is all-wheel drive. Now, the pinnacle of supercar performance, consider, you know, nine, the 911 Turbo S. 911 Turbo S, the brand new one, the 992 uh, does 0 to 60. According to Car and Driver, their tests actually did it in 2.2 seconds. That is lightning fast. But the 911 Turbo S also cost nearly a quarter million dollars to buy. So we drop down to a regular 911 Turbo, not the S version. And these guys did that in 2.4 seconds. So again, all wheel drive, turbocharged, doing this in 2.2 to 2.4 seconds. And Chevy is pulling out their Corvette. In rear wheel drive, non turbo, pulling out 2.6 seconds. Now let's go to another one. Everybody loves the RA, right? I mean, it's a great looking car. It's pretty much a Lamborghini, you know, sitting in a more luxurious um, outer shell. Guess what this does in 0 to 60? If we scroll down, it'll show me right here 0 to 60, between 2.8 to 3 seconds. Again, that's comparable to the Stingray, not even close to the Z06. So, all these cars are either like fifty to sixty thousand dollars more, or even more. Some are 
like I said, the 911s, we're looking at over $100,000 more for the car. And some are even slower than the Z06, or some are even slower than the base Stingray C8. I mean, this is where my excitement is. Now, we're finally getting these companies to build us a supercar that's semi-affordable because, I mean, think about it. In order for you to own an Audi R8, one, like, if you can afford a brand new, great, but not a lot of us can. You know, a lot of us can't afford to spend 145000 plus tax to own an R8, let alone maintain it. But... You can own a Z06 for less than that, and it's Chevy maintenance. We're not talking crazy supercar maintenance. Like, even regular Stingrays, it's an LT engine. Guess what the LT engines only require you to do? Regular oil changes. I mean, this is just a Chevy. It's it's not a Porsche. It's not... Um, you know, it's not a Ferrari, it's not a McLaren where you have to take it to just that dealership to make sure you get all the right parts and right right service. Guess what? You could take it to AutoZone and buy the parts you need to fix these cars. So, best bang for your buck, right? You get your supercar performance, you get supercar looks, and it's cheap comparably. I mean, 90000 is still is not cheap, but comparably it's cheap. It's cheaper more affordable to drive more affordable to maintain there's really no downsides to it now i want to talk about the engine a little bit more on this car because my my gripe along with a lot of other youtubers that um reviewed the regular c8 stingray was the car had the supercar looks, the car had the supercar power, the supercar specs, but it didn't have the supercar rev range or the sound. So obviously the um, Chevy addressed that with the new Z06. Let's listen to some clips. <laughs> So obviously that does not sound like a regular V8 that we heard from Chevy before. That's just pure race car. Do you hear that shifting speed? All right. So if you didn't think the C8 was a supercar, those three sound clips should just prove to you that it is a supercar. Um, they even have the option. I don't know if you can see this clearly, but they even have an option for carbon fiber um, wheels with the Z06. They've created a flat plane crank engine from ground up just for the z06 and now with it being um 70th anniversary they're even making a special edition corvette you can get this in a z06 or you could even get it in uh in a stingray depending on what you want but yeah i mean like, in black or white in black or white i personally like the black one but i mean it's how can you go wrong with this Look at that. You can see the engine right through the back uh, back window right here. This is as good as it gets. I mean, for me, what I would buy would be the 2LZ. Um, the 1LZ, great. But I still want that um, the heated and ventilated seats. Um, the Bose uh, audio system. Because I, as much as I like to listen to my car, I, I do like to listen to music when I'm driving too. So having that better uh, audio system is uh, is a plus. I don't see myself like spending extra money for the 3LZ just because that's more of aesthetics thing um, with a 3LZ. So it, to me, the 2LZ seems plenty. Uh, it's the same for me with, uh, with the Stingray too. So... I'm really hoping down the road, you know, that 
the C8s don't hold value, just like the uh, just like the other Corvettes, because once the Stingrays hit the used market, uh, you know, give it two three years, I think they will become more affordable to most people. It will uh, become a good upgrade from you know standard sports cars that everybody's been driving, and I will definitely be in line for that. And the Z06, obviously amazing car can't wait to see what they come out with next i think we're waiting on the zr1 and i think there is talks about the zora which is supposed to be out of this world hypercar type of car so a lot more to come so excited to see more c8 stuff and yeah i mean that's it today i mean there isn't a lot of information out there about the c8 z06 but i mean it's an exciting car to talk about oh i want to talk about one more thing so with the uh with the c8 is the stingrays a lot of people complained that they couldn't really hear the exhaust note while they're driving um so what they ended up doing with the z06 is they created a special uh exhaust tip it's like a reverse trumpet as they call it the reverse trumpet um bounces the this noise off the back towards the front so the driver can actually hear their exhaust note a lot better lot louder um adding to the excitement of driving the car especially with the type of noise that this engine is making i mean i can't wait to get my hands on one i mean i would love to go for a test drive in one and try to get, make you guys uh another video about it once the car is available for us to go drive so yeah i mean that's where i'm gonna wrap up today i'm just super excited about this car i hope you know a lot of people that have been against chevys before you know you know, take off your glasses when it comes to that. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm a Ford guy all the way. You know, I'm a, I'm a Dodge guy all the way or I'm an import guy all the way. But just put that down. Put that thought down for a second and just take a look at the car for what it is. Don't look at the badge. It is an amazing car. Hands down. One of the best moves the Chevy has ever made, which I hope forces a lot of regular car makers to bring out their own type of affordable supercars like this. So that we don't all have to be drooling over Ferraris. We don't have, all have to be drooling over McLarens and, you know, Lamborghinis. And we could actually all have fun in our own type of supercar. All right, well, that's a wrap for today. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I'm trying to put up a video for you guys every two days. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is usually when I'll be putting these up. Hopefully you enjoyed my video today. Hopefully that uh, brought you some more information that you may not have known. Or if you're a big avid Corvette fan like I was, obviously you would have known everything I talked about today. But, you know, I try to summarize everything. So hopefully that's a good video for you guys. We'll talk soon. See you in the next one.